Hey guys and welcome to a discussion video about Telos, the new solar balls that is going to be released in about two weeks, the 27th of June. Now the last time we had a solar boss was actually almost exactly two years ago, to be accurate 23 months ago, uh, which was Araxor and that was rewarding tier 90 weapons. When it comes to the new boss though, Telos, we know that for a fact this boss is going to drop weapons that are above tier 85, so it's not going to be another one of those, you know, copies weapon tier 85 from God Wars 2 that has the accuracy of tier 90 or anything like that, but I'm going to talk about that in just a bit. It says on the wiki page that this is going to be the hardest boss in the game so far. Now, I don't know if that means solo boss wise or overall bosses because obviously Jakamaru, Vorago, all those bosses are probably harder because I've never seen someone solo that. I mean, Araxor is fully soloable. It's uh, definitely the hardest solo boss right now, but overall in the game, it's probably not the hardest. So I'm guessing they're they're talking about the the hardest solo boss so far in the game, which would make sense. Uh, I don't know why they would make something easier than that. But obviously that begs the question, the boss is going to drop for sure above tier 85 weapons. And that probably leaves it at tier 90s only, and would that make Araxor useless? So the boss Telos has different difficult levels and it can enrage just like Araxor, but instead of that 300% limit on the enrage, it could actually go up forever. So maybe you could do 10 kills and then someone else will post on Reddit that they did 15 kills, or someone will post like Vux has done 35 kills or something, and you know, the boss pretty much 3 shots you or 2 shots you, and I think that's really cool actually, it makes the uh, more professional runescape players be able to get a lot further than the other ones and the rewards however do not really change, uh, it gives you a higher chance of getting the rare items I think, uh, that's what I would assume is going to happen or you get more of for example if you would get uh, let's say 100 dragon bones you maybe get 110 or you, something like that, it said that the rewards are going to increase but you will on the lowest difficulty be able to get all the items that um, a player on the highest level are able to get as well. Now there really isn't much information about the boss so far, but if you want some more information about the boss specifically, I will link a video in the description from Justice RS. he made a very good video about this, but he wasn't really talking about like what kind of weapons it's going to drop and speculations around that, and that's what I want to talk mostly about in this video. Now what could these weapons be then? Well one of the planned items are currently the Saren God Bow and I would assume that the other weapons are going to be something similar. Maybe a Saros sword or something like that. God Wars 2 related weaponry is what I'm getting at. Personally I think that these weapons could turn off various ways. They could either be tier 90s with a passive damage increase towards God Wars 2 bosses which would make the other tier 90s far from useless for any other content but the tier 90s from Telos would be better for God Wars 2. Why I'm saying that this might be a possibility is because Telos is going to be located and associated with the God Wars 2 tier, so that's why I think it's actually a pretty good idea and I think it would work out pretty good. Then of course it could also be tier 91 plus, meaning like 91 to 99 or I don't know, whatever they want to go for. But in terms of Iron Man progression, the boss will be so hard compared to Araxor that you're forced to get the tier 90s anyways from Araxor to be able to kill it, making it pretty fair progression, it just would be kind of bad for non-Iron Man. I'm not really sure what they're going to do with these weapons other than that really, but I'm going to bring up a fair point now. Another pair of tier 90 weapons could be possible as well, just tier 90 pure like all the other ones. Because there are three types of tier 85 weapons, which are the Elite Slayer Creatures one, the Lava Strike Worms one, and the God Wars 2 weapons. And there's currently only two different tier 90 weapons, the uh, Drygors, Ascensions and Seismics, and then the Araxor weapons. If they do decide to make it tier 90 however, they do need to make it a bit unique. If you look at the other tier 90s that are not from Araxor, they're all one hands, the Drygors, the Seismic Wand and Singularity, and then the Crossbows. Now if you look at the Araxor ones, they're all two hands, the Scythe, the Staff and the uh, Noxious Bow. The tier 85 weapons also have their unique parts, which is for example from the Elite Slayer creatures, let's take the Living Wyverns for example, they drop a crossbow that poisons the enemy passively, which is a very good effect if you're doing bosses like Nex. Now, 
if you look at the Staff of Darkness, which is from Lava Strike Worms, they also give the effect of a Staff of Light passively in the staff, as well as it being tier 85, and it also gives us a special attack that reflects 25% of all incoming damage for the next 20 seconds, requiring 100% adrenaline. And then at last, if you look at the God Wars 2 tier 85 weapons, they are probably the best ones because they do have the accuracy of tier 90 weapons, but they do have the damage of tier 85, and this also is a thing that makes them a bit unique. I don't know what they're going to put as the special thing about these new weapons, and I hope that they actually stick with tier 90. I think it would be weird if they would make tier 80 95 or something, and then that would just devalue Araxor so much. I think they should just put it at tier 90, and then keep the accuracy of a tier 90, keep the damage of a tier 90, not some, you know, God Wars 2 thing where they have the weapon uh, at the damage of a tier 85 and then the accuracy of a tier 90 or the accuracy of a potential like 92 or something uh, that we haven't seen yet. Uh, I think the best thing they could do, in my opinion, is as I said earlier, make it a damage increase or something uh, related to God Wars 2. It would be great if you would get like 10% damage more against God Wars 2 bosses. It would make getting all the supplies 10% faster for Iron Man, for example, uh, and it would make the profit from God Wars 2 10% higher, for example, for main accounts. I think that would be a good, you know, it's, it's very new content as well, God Wars 2, and a lot of people are doing it. They're doing it for the pets because they want the uh, insane final boss. They're doing it for the great supplies. They're doing it for the anima core gear because that's currently, I guess, the best Slayer gear you can have. Uh, so it's not dead content whatsoever. And I think that this boss could make uh, the new content even more interesting. And, you know, Telos would really have a purpose if that was the case. So I think giving uh, the damage increase to God Wars 2 bosses would be a good thing. Maybe they could put it in another way where you got, for example, 100% accuracy guaranteed all towards all God Wars 2 bosses. They could make something else, you know, when you use this weapon towards God Wars 2 bosses, it has a chance of putting a dot on them for 10 seconds or something. Something interesting like that. I just want to end the video by saying that I'm going to try to do this boss on release on my Iron Man. I'm going to try to get extremes before then at least. Uh, I'm only a few levels off that. And I'm also going to uh, try to get Turmoil aka 95 Prayer. Uh, I think that is kind of a must to be able to do this. It said that it's recommended full tier 85. And I really don't have that. But I think it should be possible if I have Turmoils and extremes. Uh, we will have to see. And it's obviously going to require a lot of practice. But... I would love to see your guys' opinion on what you think the weapons are going to be like. And I hope you guys did enjoy this small discussion video. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.